To perform a full hydraulic seal package replacement for the check valve system, you will need to disassemble the main air barrel assembly on your pump. Some other repairs may not require this procedure. The hydraulic T-body section contains both the inlet and outlet check valve assemblies. If you find you have a faulty check valve or just need to perform regular maintenance on this section, you will first need to cut and remove the lock wire with wire cutters. Once you remove the lock wire, you can loosen the 2-inch nuts to remove the check valve assemblies from the T-body. Make sure to have a rag or other absorbent material handy to catch any residual oil that might drain from the valve. In order to repair the hydraulic inlet check valve and the hydraulic outlet check valve, you will need a Haskell check valve tool to loosen the internal ring and allow access to the inner parts. The Haskell check valve tool has a recess on the end that will catch the inner ring when inserted into the check valve. The ring will come out on the end of the Haskell tool. Now you can remove the loose internal parts. You will also need to remove the Teflon seat inside the valve. The internal valve parts include the Teflon seat, ball, inner ring, cage, the internal spring, the outer spring, the ring retainer, and the outer ring which holds all of the parts in place. One of the most common check valve problems is a faulty Teflon seat. This part will be included in your hydraulic seal replacement kit, as well as the two outer backups and the outer O-ring. Replace these parts to service both the inlet and the outlet check valve assemblies. Reassemble the check valve using new parts by following the instructions provided with your replacement kit. First, insert the new Teflon seat, the ball, and inner ring. Next, center the inner spring inside the cage and use a long object to insert these parts into the valve. These parts should be centered to the ball inside. Now insert the outer spring, followed by the ring retainer. To lock all internal parts into place, first put the outer ring back into the Haskell tool. Next, use the tool to push down the springs and lock the parts into place. Follow this same procedure for both the inlet and outlet check valves. Now you can replace the check valves into the T-body and tighten the 2-inch nuts according to proper torque requirements. To access the inner hydraulic section, you must first open the pump's air drive barrel and loosen the center 2-inch nut. Now you can remove the spacer, packing, and backups. Your replacement seal kit includes the four packing parts, but will not include the bearing or the spacer. Be sure to inspect this bearing for internal scores, scratches, or general wear. It may need to be replaced periodically. To assemble this section, first place the bearing into the pump body, followed by the backup. Next add the seal, the other two bearings, and the spacer. Finally, replace the 2-inch nut and refer to the instructions for torque specifications. When reassembling the air barrel, it is very important to inspect the piston plunger for scores and scratches. An impaired plunger can quickly damage your new seals. Replace the piston back into the hydraulic section. Now you're ready to reassemble the air drive section. Before replacing the air barrel, be sure to lubricate the inner diameter with Haskell lubricant. Evenly spread the lubricant along the entire inner surface of the barrel. Now replace the end cap, making sure that the flow tube and pilot tube are properly aligned with the ports. Reinsert the four tie rods and add nuts and brackets.
tighten to torque specifications provided in your drawing. This concludes the hydraulic seal package replacement for the check valve system procedure for this model.